Hey everyone, Trina here, back with day 47 of the Mixed Media Art Project. Today we're going to be working on the jelly plate. Let's start off with some pencil marks. This is my, I don't know what this is, it's a black pencil. <laughs> it's got paint all over it, I can't tell what it is. So I just want to start with making some marks, as I usually do, just to get warmed up. Makes it easier than trying to draw on a blank piece of paper. What I wanted to do today is explore that idea that I did yesterday that was all about um, making marks on the jelly plate. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move this over and get some paint. My yellow okra from Liquitex. So I'm just going to roll some of this out. I think I want this to be pretty thick because we're going to basically do some drawing back into this and create some negative spaces. So I want it to stay wet for a bit. Um, let's get out our palette knife. Actually, you know what? Let's I'm going to try this Catalyst Wedge. This is a Catalyst Wedge from Princeton. And it has some fun mark making capabilities. So yesterday I drew back into this. And I really liked how that came out. I'm going to go in with one of these um, rubber tools that I bought. We're just going to make some lines and some marks through here. Kind of mimic what we already made. These are fun. And then I think I want this to go over. And then maybe let's use this end right here. Let's see what we get from that. about this guy. I'm just kind of playing with the tools here to see what we can make. I don't want to get too complicated though because uh, maybe maybe a line through here. It's almost like we're making stencils from the paint and the best part is if you mess up you just go over it. I think I want some through here. Okay, that's probably enough. Let's see what we get. Let's turn this over. So yeah, really wanting to explore this idea of using the jelly print more as a tool for making marks rather than the transfers. I do have the plastic on this on the back, so we can get some good pressure with the Baron. It's pretty wet, so it shouldn't take very long. We can see if we can see through. Probably should have been a boulder, and he maybe used a marker there, but let me try this first and see how we like it. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna roll out a little bit of the unbleached titanium, which apparently has a little bit of yellow granite because I didn't clean my gray very well. Okay, let's go back in with this catalyst wedge. I'm kind of put it here, but I kind of want it to overlap a little bit and see what that does. So remember, get our work reverse. Gotta remember that. I forget that sometimes. And I think I just want this one to be sort of an uneven edge. A little bit more painterly, maybe. Um, let's do one more of these. that part 
in there. But, okay, that paint dried really fast. Um, and if the paint dries super fast, you can always go in with some gel medium over top of it. But I'm gonna try to do this quickly so it doesn't, we don't have to worry about that. I just want some little marks through here. Okay, that's all we're gonna do for that one. Let's flip it up. Let's see what we get here. I might print it again and see if we can get more of this off. But I might print it just down lower. So it's probably not gonna I might get a little bit of a ghost print, but it might add some really cool marks. Oh, that's nice. Just a few marks through here. Okay, I'm going to come in with a little bit of water. Get this paper a little saturated. I'm going to come in with, these are the Mailing watercolors. Pretty reasonable set. About 20 bucks for the set on Amazon. I'll the link below. This is their Payne's Gray. Ooh, that's fun. Watching watercolor run is such a fabulous thing. Okay, let's come in with a bigger brush. Can't, I don't want to leave it like that. <laughs> let's just do, well, I kind of like how that kind of worked out. Um, I'm gonna come in with this other color that I made just a different blue. Working with a bigger brush enhances your mark making tremendously. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this out. It's a little too much for me there. looking very stormy. Hmm, I'll let that dry. Let's come in with a little bit of this other sort of almost sky blue. Let's kind of add some of that in and take some away. I'm going to add some more of that Payne's Gray down here. Oh, that's fun. Ooh, the scraping is good. Okay, so I've mixed up a green color here using the cadmium yellow and the, uh, this is the cadmium yellow from Oak with Golden and also the ivory black from Liquitex. So I think I want to put some green in here. I just don't figure out where. I think I'm going to just kind of Put this a little bit on. I'm going to come in with the color shaper. I 
Now the cadmium yellow is very transparent and the ivory black is somewhat transparent. <laughs> so we're gonna see what we get. Uh, oh, but I'm liking this so far. Um, cover up a little bit of that. I like these lines. Let's do more of these. We can take some of that out and scrape back in. I really don't like what I got going on here. I like the blue, but like from here up, hate it. I don't know, I just got paint on it. Awesome. We're just gonna come with a big dollop of white. I'm gonna take that, knock that back a little bit. Or cover it up completely. Cause <laughs> It just wasn't working for me. It might need a little bit of it in there to make it seem. Believable. If we add some marks through here, we'll be good. Okay, if some of it comes through, like maybe Scrape back some of it. Just wasn't working for me with the other parts of the piece. Now it just feels like it's a little bit more part of what we got going on here. A little less, it feels more intentional. I kind of like it though. Let's do. I kind of like how these, how we can get some marks through there. Kind of create these shapes. Maybe one more. Let's do one right through here. As I was drying this, Kind of saw this right through here. I was thinking it might be a good way to bring it back. Into this area a little bit so it doesn't look so. So we're getting some movement without it being flat because I want you to move through the space. I don't know if that works, but I kind of like it. I don't hate it. And then I maybe want to do some white through here. I found this stencil in one of my old stencil packs of a tree. Now, I don't think I want to use it as a tree, but I do like the shape through here. So I thought we could maybe just bring this through here. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've added more black, more ivory black to that green that we made up here. 
and it's a lot darker. So we're going to, I don't actually, let me move this down just a little bit. I don't want it covering up all that white space. But I think this is going to be pretty neat. In my brain, it's going to be neat. If we need to, we can go back with some black, but I think I'm liking this green color. Now, where do we stop? That's the next thing. We can come up through here a little bit. Too much of it. I maybe want to do. Yeah, I think I want to go through here too. I can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> like, this might be very cool or really awful. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's kind of fun. We just added a little bit more of these graphic. I like it. Let's come a little closer so you guys can see. What do we think about that? I think it works. It works for me anyway. Let's let it dry. See where we're going. Okay, I think I want to add a few more. Just of these little guys up here. So it doesn't feel like it's only in one place. And hopefully I didn't just smear that. Oh. Lastly, I'm going to add some ladder stencils through here. Since I've already got the stencil out and the paint out. This area needed something going through it. I'm going to add some green through here, I think. Some of this darker green. Okay, now I want to I want to put this back. It's a little darker. The okay, last thing I want to do is add in my lot my ink tents. I don't know why, but this feels like it always just finishes the piece nicely. Just a little something through there. Okay, this is today's piece. What do we think? I like the negative graphic spaces that we made. Um, I think I resolved that better. Maybe it's, it still has some energy into it. It doesn't look so put on and so separate. Um, I like the tree stencil. That's kind of neat. Um, and I love the first marks we laid down with the jelly plate. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with this one. It's got some good movement through it. Feels, um, cohesive. And I like that it's not overly, overly done with some hints of color. Um, let's take a look at a mat. And here it is with a mat. I like it even better with a mat. Um... Yeah, I think it's, I like the green, the colors, like the green, the blue. I think I want to do more of a, I need to find a blue that I like that works with these colors a little better. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, the paint's gray is nice, but it's a little too neutral. I want something that pops a little more. 
Um, maybe a cobalt blue, maybe ultramarine, maybe a little black in it, maybe. I don't know. We'll save that for tomorrow. Um, but I like what we did here. I think this is a good play on what I started yesterday and took some of those elements that I liked, preserving the white space, making it a bit more graphic, and making the elements stand out a little bit. Okay. Thanks for watching. Click over here to see yesterday's video. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for day 48.